Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Blogger RT. If you haven't already subscribed, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Uh, today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic which is EV vehicles. Uh, so is it the right time to buy an electric vehicle uh, in London? How is the infrastructure like? Uh, are the roads optimized? Uh, and is it economical to buy an electric vehicle now? What's the running cost like? Are there any taxes for electric vehicles? And much more. So we are going to hear from someone who has recently uh, bought his Tesla. He is a doctor in Harrow, London. So let's go here from there. So that's how you open the car. This is a key fob as well. Okay, so there's a key fob and then you can also open with the app. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So let's get started now. Can show you the speed. Ready? Yeah. Ooh. So that was the pickup, <laughs> and was great. <laughs> so these are the lidar sensors mm -hmm. that will detect uh, automatically lanes, people, and stationary cars. Okay, for example, I'll show you now. Yeah. Oh yeah, fascinating. So these are the cars that were parked along the road, which you can see here. This detection is just fantastic, isn't it? It's also detecting the lanes. So that's how the autopilot thing works and if you turn it on. Yeah. Any reason why you uh, didn't get the autopilot for this car? In UK, the, the rules on autopilot are quite strict. So you, you're only allowed to use it on M1 and the big motorways. So for 6,800, it's not worth it. It's, it's a one time. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not worth it. Not worth it, yeah. Uh, this this still has auto tracking, auto stop mm -hmm. for emergencies and lane detection. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, roads and infrastructure is more optimized in the US for yes. autopilot. In the UK, the rules are still stringent. Um, and you can't just leave your car on autopilot to drive. So one of the features of the Navigate mm -hmm. is it can take me to the... So my home and work are automatically detected. So in morning it automatically shows me mm -hmm. workplace. Okay. It, it, uh, preempts that I'm going to work. Mm -hmm. Return, it automatically preempts for going, oh. going home. Okay. Uh, in charging, if I press the charging, it will take me to the nearest supercharger. Okay. Nice. So you just have to click on charging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The charging are, rates like. Mm -hmm. So there are three tiers of charging. Mm -hmm. uh, the superchargers, if you have a 250 kilowatt charge, mm -hmm. it is around 30 between 30 and 40 p per kilowatt. Okay. Some of the Tesla's own chargers outside of the city mm -hmm. are around 28 p. So that's the cheapest charging. Okay, so 28 p per kilowatt hour. Uh, yeah. That's okay. Right. So, do you have a charging station installed at your home? Yeah. So okay. We can show you that hmm. on our way back. Is it free then if you have it installed at your home? No. So, we I have a Octopus CV, mm -hmm. and it, it uh, the tariff is 14p per kilowatt between 12:30 at night to 4:30 at night. So for uh, four hours, mm -hmm. I pay four and a half pounds for four pounds fifty pence. That charges the car for one twenty to one thirty miles. Okay. Which is what we do. That's the cheapest charging you can get. Cost of fuel has soared so much in recent weeks that it takes around hundred pounds to fill a tank of a traditional car, a petrol or diesel car, and this sounds so much better than that, isn't it? The, the front of the entire car mm -hmm. is a sound bar. Okay. Just behind Ganpati. Okay. So this is how it detects the stationary car. So now I can demo the music now, mm -hmm. which is uh, originally it comes with uh, Spotify, mm -hmm. Tidal, and in theater it comes with Netflix, Disney, YouTube, Twitch, and Tesla tutorials. Okay. Now we have stopped the premium connectivity, so that's not available. Mm -hmm. But this is the demo of the music. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster. Something out of my nightmares, right there. The, 
सी दी इक्विवेलेंट ऑफ टेस्ला कॉल अश्विनी it will call so phone is not connected at the minute because i okay. think my my youtube my bluetooth is not working okay But so then can you give instructions to the map as well yeah cool okay let's have a look how it works hmm. then watford health center it's taking us to watford health center c nice there so that's watford health center yeah it can so i just click and it will take me there okay perfect now turn right to stay on belmont lane amazing evs are greener faster cheaper to run and also exclude our global dependency on oil which was one of the major reasons for the protest that happened in london earlier this week the main dashboard of the car so this is the center console of the car and all the controls are here mm -hmm. as you can see i can fold the mirrors there is window lock the glove box cannot be opened directly mm -hmm. you have to press this to open the glove box okay and then you can manually turn it off just to take it up and down mm -hmm. i have to do this as you can see so this is the right i can do the left with this there. um then there is steering there is this this thing is called the sentry mode and in sentry mode i can put the uh, constant recording say overnight or if i am in a car park and it will record mm -hmm. if someone approaches the car okay so this is for security purposes security purposes okay then this mm -hmm. is the charging bit mhm mm this was my last charge so you can see it was a bit expensive mm -hmm. but this is because it was quite in the city okay in newport pagnan okay and this is the autopilot mode mhm mm i can fix it but you know i don't have it at the minute so there's no point okay uh, there are locks so i i can individually lock it using uh, various keys okay uh, what various keys uh... so i can assign ashwini's mobile as a key as well okay okay so you can install the app in multiple phones that's right so how many uh, phones can you install the app in is there an upper limit five. up to 5 phones five. okay that's mm -hmm. the that's the lights mhm mm that's the display Okay. This tells me the trips. So I've done three thousand thirty-seven miles now. Okay. Uh, this is the total energy I've used. Mm. And you can see this was the start uh, when it when it was dispatched from China. Okay. That's the navigation. Mm -hmm. the, these are the safety features, so I can call uh, in case there is a Emergency. breakdown. Emergency. Yeah. And there are software upgrades as well, so I can upgrade to mm -hmm. premium connectivity. Uh, from my phone. Okay, whenever you wish to. Yeah. Yeah, in the future. And this is for the uh, heating and the AC system. So in front, okay. I can I can have individual. Oh, sorry. I can have heat heating for front and back. Okay. And I, I can adjust the AC. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Yeah. Then nice. I can do the rear. Mm -hmm. I can heat the individual seats as well. Okay. This is nice. You can heat the back seats as well. Yeah. Mm. Perfect. So that 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 was all about the dashboard, guys. Yeah. Yeah. And we are going back now. So all these features that you just did from the dashboard, can you yeah. do everything from your app as well? App as well. Most okay. of it, not all, but okay. most of it. So that's the Tesla app. Mm hmm. And you can see there. These are the central controls. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when I leave, mm -hmm. I can put it on AC. at a certain time okay which is remote okay uh, i can schedule it for charging oh nice so departure is 7:15 okay and i i can schedule the charging mm -hmm. at a certain time okay and then there are upgrades and then there is service okay nice So uh, service rem uh, reminds me of the running cost now. For a traditional car we have to do our servicing, we have to do MOTs and other stuff. What are the expenses for the this car? Hmm. So servicing is actually quite cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about 150 to 200 pounds. Okay. Uh, because there is nothing there is only two two electronic motors, mechanical parts, so brakes, uh, wheels, things like that. Okay. It doesn't have a so I don't need engine oil, I don't True. need brake oil. True. Not nothing much is there. Okay, so 150 About is your 150, annual yeah. cost. Mm. Considering it's an EV vehicle, sorry, electric vehicle, it wouldn't have any emission charges. So Are there yeah. any other taxes for this car? Nothing. 
No tax. No taxes. There is no ULAs. Hmm. There is no uh, central congestion charge. Okay. But I've heard there is a luxury tax to uh, Tesla so, car. So not luxury tax. After forty, thirty-seven, thirty-eight thousand pounds, the government used to give. Uh, Three and a half thousand for uh, as a subsidy, mm -hmm. but about thirty-five thousand, thirty-seven thousand pounds. That subsidy goes away automatically. Okay. Electric vehicles are still expensive to buy, but overall they require much less maintenance, and you also save on taxes. Charges. So that's wireless charging here, and there are two slots for charging. You can yeah. keep two phones here. Yeah. So which was the previous car you owned? We had an XC90. For 13 years. Okay. Uh, it was a fabulous car. It's mm -hmm. a seven-seater. This is a five-seater. US, you can get a seven-seater. And uh, definitely, my kids and Ashwini miss this that car. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing is that this is a sports model, mm -hmm. so the suspension is very stiff. Okay. Uh, and that is what quite a lot of people comment. It's it's a very rough drive. Mm -hmm. uh, in case we want to go on a uh, you know, drive where there is lots of. Uh, Bumps on the road. Mm -hmm. uh, XC90 was like butter, really. Smooth. Okay. So comparing uh, the running cost and maintenance um, and mileage, which is more efficient? Uh, Ashwini might uh, disagree with me, <laughs> but uh, now at the minute uh, the the diesel cost is about 100, 1.80 per liter. Mm -hmm. So for a full tank, I would be paying about 90, 95 pounds. Okay. For a full tank or for an XC90, mm -hmm. this car, uh, if I go to a, a supercharger and literally every day, mm -hmm. I would pay about twenty pounds, maybe maximum, for a full charge. Okay. So that's the difference. So it uh, a full charge will will give me about two seventy five miles on the road. Although they they say it is three thirty miles. You have to cut. You have to take about twenty percent discount okay. because uh, because of the heating, the mobile uh, charging, Correct. the music that we will play, and yeah. the air conditioning. It it brings down the mileage. Okay. So, in reality, full charge will give not three thirty but two seventy. Okay, so on an average two seventy. Yeah. Uh, so, so we have done one long drive to Bristol and back, mm -hmm. and uh, we had to charge uh, about twenty five pounds worth of. Uh, Electricity was consumed okay. for a to and fro journey for mm -hmm. two eighty about two ninety miles. Okay, so that's still very economical. So you did a Bath and Bristol trip, yeah, which is twenty five pounds. Yes. Yeah, very yeah. economical. And how much would uh, it cost you if you had your previous car? So I think I would have. Uh, so my car gave a eight mile average, uh, and the, the tank was sixty five miles, and I think I would have paid. About maybe a hundred pounds return. Okay, so that's a huge difference. It would have costed a hundred uh, pounds on the traditional. Was it a diesel or a petrol car? It's a, it was, it a, was diesel a diesel car. car. Yeah. yeah. Diesel car. And here it's costing you only twenty-five pounds. So yeah, very economical. What is the name of the model that we are currently driving? It's a Tesla Model Y. Tesla Model Y. Any reason you went for this model? Because we wanted a. Used to a slightly high ride, mm -hmm. the Model X starts at a hundred thousand, so it's it's beyond my reach at the minute, mm -hmm. uh, and it's it's the capital investment is just too much. Okay. So this is slightly affordable. It's less than a Model S. Plus an SUV uh, kind and of. And plus an SUV, yeah. and it's it's becoming quite popular. It's like okay. a crossover, four by four. Okay. It's a dual motor engine. Uh, which makes it very very fast. It's zero to sixty in four point eight seconds. Okay, nice. Uh, equivalent to four fifty bhp. Mm. And was the process seamless? Like, was there a wait time when you were buying this uh, car? Six months. Six months. Five, five, okay. five months. So we uh, the, the orders opened in October, mm -hmm. and we got the delivery on the nineteenth of February. Uh, we had to go to Southampton Port to mm -hmm. pick it up. Mm -hmm. Because the, these, this this specific model was manufactured in China. Oh, okay. Now they will be they are being manufactured in Berlin Giga factory. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, the deliveries will be much quicker and faster. Okay. Nice. So in your opinion, would you encourage everyone to get a um, EV? Invest in a EV? Mm -hmm. uh, definitely, I think that once the costs start to decrease, I think mm -hmm. you know average people should be able to buy it. Mm -hmm. And certainly, my experience is. I use uh, about 30 mile charge a day. Mm -hmm. So one charge for me, mm -hmm. 120 charge lasts mm -hmm. me for about three days, roughly two okay. to three days. So I, I'm charging twice a week now. Okay. And it it costs me nine pounds. Okay. Nine nine to twelve pounds max. 
maybe 15 pounds stop okay and would it still be economical if you didn't have a charging station at home uh, no that that would be a problem then okay because uh, the charging infrastructure is is not that great at the minute mm-hmm. and mostly it's uh, so, um, uh, chargers in supermarkets like morrisons and sainsburys and they are either various other companies or bp pulse and they are expensive at the minute okay so you know you, you could be charged anywhere between 35p and 50p mm-hmm. per kilowatt but those are maximum 50 kilowatt because only tesla makes the superchargers okay. which are between 150 and 250 kilowatt charging okay so it's like if you don't have a charging station at home your cost with an ev is just like a traditional uh, petrol diesel car. not 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 as expensive but it is a hassle more than anything okay Okay. So for the first month when we didn't have the charger, we were using three phase, three pin charging, mm-hmm. uh, which is uh, like any other charging, three kilowatt, mm-hmm. and the whole night would give me about eighty miles. So okay. ten hour, twelve hour charging, mm-hmm. but then I'm just using you know routine electricity. Okay. Whereas the one that we have is a seven kilowatt charger, mm-hmm. so it's about double, which is why I get one hundred and twenty. Uh, Kia is the only company that gives twenty two kilowatts. So Kia EV six. is much much faster than uh, the tesla at charging okay and uh, but sir, because i think the the main attracting point for tesla is it it has its own uh, network of superchargers mm-hmm. and in uk they have about 800 of them now nice and it's going to go up uh, yeah. so every year they add 10 15 chargers a year okay so hopefully you know we'll get one in harrow soon okay so 10 15 uh, okay that's a pretty low number but yeah as as long as you have it installed uh, at home and yeah if yeah. you have it installed i think you will have to plan uh, uh, supercharging trips mm-hmm. if you want to go say to scotland and back okay. like one of my colleagues has done it mm-hmm. he had no problems okay because in fact and there are more charging points in scotland than anywhere else cool nice and we'll be seeing the station soon now okay so there we are let's, let's, let's and unlike a traditional car guys for tesla you have a button here so the door just opens with a click of a button boot of the car yeah as you can see that's see. huge and spacious here yeah. there is there is a space for all the cables okay so you can see that this is the this is the cable for the superchargers okay. for the 7 or 50 kilowatt mm-hmm. and this is the three phase three pin charger i was talking about did you have to buy this all separately no Tesla gives. It. Gives, okay. Comes with the car. Uh, there is more park. There is more. There is more space here. As you can see, oh, this wow. is actually for okay. cables. Okay. More space here, here, and, and lots of space here. Fortunately, yeah. this is a button operate, so I don't have to pull it down. Nice. Is there a button on the in the app as well? Okay. okay. Yeah. perfect so you can open and close and this is the front now mm-hmm. so it, it will it will give a small storage for a decent size bag yeah a, a cabin bag would fit here yeah yeah easy mm-hmm. so this is the home charging station is this the company who uh, who Anderson. installed it okay mm-hmm. and This is the cable, mm-hmm. and we'll show you the charging point in the car, which is okay. quite unique. So okay. Okay. So now we'll see the charging point. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is the charging point. Oh, so nice! Very fancy. So it's inside the tail lights. Yeah. So that's the charging point. Perfect. And how much was the cost to get this uh, station installed? Mm-hmm. So it is a twelve hundred pounds for the machine itself. Okay. And then three fifty for the installation. Okay, three fifty for the installation. And that's a one-time cost. The app mm-hmm. called the Connect app, and this, these are the reports of how much I've spent. So okay. You can see there on the eighteenth, I spent four fifty mm-hmm. for four hour charging, and it I I consumed thirty kilowatt charging. Okay. So you can see that this is the average I've spent. Okay. So can you see yeah. only the last few records, or can you see this? I can see the entire record. Entire record. Oh, okay. Okay. 
this so is this the is scheduler. The app given by this company, company. Anderson. Yeah. Okay. This is the scheduler. So I, I start scheduling. This is because I have Octopus. Mm -hmm. These are the cheapest scheduling options. Okay. So I can schedule for any time. Okay. And that's just my thing. Okay, nice. So then you have an app for the car, you have an app for the charging. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And Amazing. Yeah. So now I'm just going to show you the car and some of its features that we didn't cover before. So it has a nice sunroof to it. You can see the sunroof and the interiors are awesome. It has white seats. Are these leather seats? Are these leather seats? So this is vegan leather. So this is a vegan leather. It's a nice leg space as well. <laughs> so the handles are nice and sleek. So you open them like this and then just close it well, thank you for your time and thank you for giving us so much information about EV